talking about the, the culture that you've created, and it does say on your website that you can swing by Fruit Towers anytime you want. And so actually last week I did do that. Uh, when I was walking down, I think it was Vine Street, and the first thing I saw uh, in the car park was obviously a cow parked in the car park. Mm -hmm. uh, it was a van. Cow van, yeah. Yeah, exactly, a cow van. And then I get closer to the door, and above the door it says people, and above the window on the next to it, it says burglars. So yeah. obviously by the time I got through the window, um, I saw this... Uh, lovely lady with a massive smile on my face, expecting her to just rebuff me and say, oh, it's just our website thing. She was so genuinely lovely, and you know, she, she uh, got somebody to show me around. They had two people fighting about who should show me around. <laughs> Um, and I didn't want to leave. It was such a cool, creative place to, set, to, to be. And I, you weren't expected, right? You just turned just up. Just turned up. Yeah. Just yeah. turned up. And it was incredible because I, um, I didn't want to leave, but I thought that you know, if I made a scene and didn't leave, then the chance of you turning up today would be a lot less. Um, but it really is. How do you create such an amazing culture like that where everybody is so genuinely energised at work? Well, look, we're massively lucky because you don't, you don't create a culture. It's... it's it's the people that you recruit. So I think the, I, I, my personal belief is the single most important business decision one ever makes is who you get to come and join yeah. your business. Because everything, I mean, it's, this is obvious, everyone knows this, everything a business does or doesn't do is the result of a human being doing it or not doing it, caring or not caring, it, having the skills or not. And we were clear what we wanted in terms of the brand. We wanted it to be genuine, to be mm. friendly, not saccharine, not sort of, not falsely trying to be your mate, but just open and honest and up for it. And you can only be those things, it can only be genuinely that way if people are genuinely like that. So mm. we've just been very strong on recruiting firstly, not only, but firstly on the values of people we come to meet. And yeah. if they personally chime with the values of the business, then they're through to the next round. And if they don't, then they're not. And if I was to do it all again, which hopefully I will, I'm definitely keeping that as one of my main bits of philosophy of approach to business. You gotta have your values, what you care about, and then bring in people that care about those things too. Good, yeah, because otherwise, I mean, with all that fun around, I suppose, get making sure people are serious about hitting their targets. People work, I don't expect to work incredibly yeah. hard, and we have a really, really tough uh, performance management process where twice a year everyone gets a rating of one through to five, a five is you're an absolute star, one is you're a doofus and you need to sort it out immediately, and every bit of pay, access to options, access to the, pop, the profit share scheme is directly linked to that, so we, and we, and everyone has five objectives which they're assessed against. So it, there's absolute transparency and clarity and real-time feedback about what's expected and how you're doing against what's expected. Yeah. Is that, are those five objectives, is that a quarterly thing, monthly thing, annual, or is it just... We review them. I mean, they're supposed to be always kept alive, yeah. but they're reviewed formally every six months, but then everyone has a one-to-one -one with their boss once a week, and the agenda is always, right, let's go through the five things, because it's the five things that you're contracting to deliver for the business over the next six months, and if you deliver all five, then you're into the high-performance category and you get more pay, and yeah. it all sort of self-perpetuates.